Hi everyone, my name is Sebastian, and I will talk to you about Next.js in four minutes. So, Next.js is a minimalist framework for several rendered applications made with Vue.js. It's inspired by the great framework Next.js. It's built on top of Vue 2 and Vue Router, which allows us to server render automatically your web application. We use Babel, that lets you write your file with ECMAScript 6. Next.js uses Webpack to split your application into multiple files, so when the browser loads your application, only the strict minimum of required JavaScript and CSS will be loaded. So the only thing to do, you have to do is to focus on writing view files. Let's see a quick example. First, we need to install Next as a dependency of your application with NPM. And then we can create a first pa our first page. We have a template displaying the name property, and we set this property to .js. So then we can launch Next. It will create an HTTP server. And if we visit this page, you can see in the source code our hello.js, which has been server rendered. So like Next.js, page, the page directory is the main API, which means that every file inside this page directory will be transformed as a root. Next.js is customizable. This allows you to create dynamic routes, because I think every big application needs dynamic routes. You can use any Vue.js plugin created by the community, you can manage the head elements, the title, the meta tags, globally or for only one specific page. If you know Vuex, you can use it. Just create a store slash index.js file, and Next will import Vuex for you. You can customize, customize the main app and setting a header and a footer, for example, so it will be included in every of your page, and more hot reloading and etc. Uh, one main feature of Next.js is you can use it programmatically. If you have an Express server, you can use it as an Express middleware. For server deployment, uh, we offer you two commands, like Next.js does, Next build, which minify and uh, minify your CSS and JavaScript, uh, JavaScript files, and you can launch your server with Next start. But what I would like to introduce is serverless deployment and we call it Next Generate. This, for me, is a new step. So every page inside your page directory will be transformed at, as an HTML file. This allows us to generate, to server render, generate your application, and you can host it on a CDN or GitHub page. So you don't need a server anymore. You can imagine a solution where you have uh, a blog post or e-commerce website. And when the stock change, the inventory change, to a product on stock or out of inventory, you can call AWS Lambda and call Next Generate to re-render your e-commerce website and push it on your CDN. So I hope this will uh, be a new step of dynamic web application on static hosting, server render it. Thank you very much. You can check the website. It's made with Next.js and the Next Generate, so the HTML file will be server rendered, and it's on GitHub page. Thank you very much.